Hi everyone, welcome to Tormented Souls. I'm super excited to play this game. Um, it's a horror game, uh, it falls into the horror game genre. And it seems to be a like a tribute to the old horror games like Silent Hill and mainly also Resident Evil when it comes to the controls and a bit of the clunkiness. This is what I read. I haven't read I haven't read I haven't read anything about the the story itself. I just read a little bit about the as I said the controls and everything. Um yeah and I'm I'm just super excited to play it and I would say we just start the game. There's only one difficulty level. Um and I would say, here we go. Let's d just double check the controller. Okay, that seems all fine. And let's jump right into it. A letter for me? I never receive letters. Okay, so we got a letter from John Doe from Blackwood Island in Canada and it's I think it's addressed to us so we're Caroline Walker also living in Canada in Campbell River. I should check the front of the letter to see who wrote to me. I don't know. Okay, so this is what we just saw. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. So we first had to read it and then we could interact with it. You just think you can abandon us here. Do you think you can just abandon us here? Okay. It's been two weeks since I received that letter from the Wildberger Hospital. Since then, I haven't been fine. I can't get out of my head the image of those little girls. I can't sleep. And when I am able to fall asleep, it's only to dream horrible nightmares. I need to know what's going on. What's the meaning of all of this? I'm going to the Wildberger Hospital in hopes of finding some answers about this strange photo. I need to know what's going on. Jesus. Ugh. I knew something would happen. <laughs> it still got me. <laughs> the private restroom. Ugh. 
Yeah, I just want to say, first of all, we need to get dressed. <laughs> okay, so I've never personally played um, Resident Evil, the first one. I only watched my cousin play it, and then later on also other plays too, so I had only experienced it firsthand. And I, I immediately felt it because what I wanted to do is I wanted to move the camera, but it's a fixed camera, so I can't, I can't turn the camera around, which I really have to get used to. Why was I connected to the respirator? Good question. Okay, I really need to stop using the the right stick to move the camera. Respirators and oscilloscopes. What did they do to me? Oh. Did we lose an eye? Oh my god! We did! Oh god. That is terrible. Like... Oh god, what have they done to me? We could have done so much... Who could have done such a horrible thing to me, and why? Okay. So, I set the brightness a little bit higher so that you can see things properly. Because I assume it's gonna be a quite a, a dark game. Okay, so what do we have here? I thought I wouldn't be able to believe anymore. All this time I have refused to let hope grow inside my chest, but now that Maria is pregnant again, I'm going to believe again. For Maria, for those little souls, for me. Today is the happiest day of my life. After all the suffering we have endured the past few years, Maria, my beloved wife, has blessed me with two beautiful angels. But there's more. After all this time, she has returned to me. She looked at me with her eyes wide as if she had not seen not seen me in years, like she was waking up from a dream. This is not all. Something odd happened when I checked my watch to find the exact time at which the first baby Emma was born. As I opened the lid, the glass cracked and the hands utterly stopped. I do not think this event to have something meaning, some meaning or other. I am not a superstitious man, but Maria insists that it is a sign. She has started using the hour as her lucky number and uses it for everything. Okay, I wonder if we find... Okay, I can't interact with this even though it's just, it's just probably for the, the page. And so this is William Wildberger's diary. It's the guy from the... who's probably belonging in the hospital too. Okay, so I assume it's a similar um, item system like in Resident Evil. What do we have here? An old pocket watch. There's a ledger on the crown. Okay, so it is... Yeah, 25 to 1. And an old photograph of two young twins. And what's... Time stood still when my two angels fell from heaven. Okay, so it's 12... 35... Uh, yeah, 12.35. Which I think is probably the code for this. Um, perfect. So, one... Two, three, and then let's try the five. It could also be a four. But okay. So we got this combination padlock. It's good. Oh, nice. A wrench. An old rusty wrench. The jaw size is adjustable. Cool. 
So, okay, let's just quickly... Okay, nope. I'm just thinking, how do we get... To, okay, so triangle is the inventory. And then we have items, resources, resources, which is my jacket. And then files are basically like key items that we find. And then we have the... Yeah, the photograph. Ah! Okay, so these are probably the twin girls that they're talking about also and that we saw the picture in the pocket watch and we, these are the two things that we just found um, okay we need to get used to the controls okay let's ah wait no 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 there was something on the wall do not less do not let shadows embrace you. Okay. What does that mean? Yeah, that's a good question. Is there anything else? No. Is there anything else in here? Nothing else to do here, okay. Oh, I think we need the wrench for that. How do we... yeah, can, it can be modified, I know. So... Um, examine? Do you think that's enough? Let's see. Okay. The East Wing Corridor. Very quiet. I also the only thing I read about as well is the Okay, I'm gone. Oh shoot, no, thank you. Um is the the saving system seems to be quite punishing. Like it is in the Resident Evil games as well. Yes, an old gas lighter. Oh, so we used the wrench and now it's gone. We don't need it anymore. And the gas lighter or the lighter is... Okay, so now we equip this. Ah, and she's already immediately holding it in her hands. Are there any, like, things that I can light? Or lit? I don't know what the word is really. Okay, we can go in there. What's that? That's the maternity ward. Oh god. I think we can't go in there. It's locked. It appears to open electronically. Okay. So we apparently need to find a mechanic probably in this room. To open... Uh, to, to get back the electricity and then we can go into the maternity room. Maybe. Oh no. I was wrong. What an awful picture in a waiting room! Why would you put that there? The people in the picture are wearing masks. The whole image is unsettling. I agree. It's terrible. Uh -huh. Fuck. I think it was a bad idea to play this game. Oh shit, eh? Sorry for swearing. A clip of nails can be used with a nailer. Okay. Then let's find a nailer. Oh god. I'm terrified. It's locked, it's also electronical, okay, out of order. Oh god, 
these dolls. Yeah. Fucking hell. The pharmacy service window, I can't see anything on the other side. Oh, why don't I have the wrench anymore? So I need something else to open that. God, I don't like when it's quiet. A vial of morphine treats minor injuries. That's good. left side of a plastic heart, okay. But that's nice. Oh. That's a nice music. A detailed mannequin of the human torso. Okay, but I can't do anything with it. Seven inch tape that can be used to record information. Okay, so this is what we need for saving. Old files, nothing interesting. It's not plugged in. Okay, and this is... Okay, so when we hear this music, this is the safe. Um... Hmm. Okay, so I assume that the... The files, the recording tapes, are not endless. So there's always the question of when should we save and when shouldn't we? And I think so far nothing really has happened yet. So I would maybe not save just yet. Let's just let's just wait a bit. It's covered in blood. Got a reeks, I don't dare lift the sheets. Lift it. Okay. So that was the examination room. I'm just a bit curious if there's anything else in here or if we have to come back to that room at some point. Not here, hold on. A report about the Tisboid tribe? According to the latest archaeological discoveries on Winter Lake Island, the Tismui tribe resides on the island for more than 500 years before being discovered by European settlers. Proof of this is an ancient underground cemetery oh, cool. found deep inside a cavern on the island shore dating to the 10th century. More than 286 skeletons belonging to 10-year-old children have been unearthed so far in the underground cemetery. All the bones were buried in pairs and experts suspect that these were twins buried together. All of them? All of them are twins? It's a lot of twins. Okay. So we probably have to go back into this room. I hope I remember all the... the look. And I'm also curious if my lighter is just holding for... ever? Or if I have to refill or something? Okay, so I guess we need to go down. June 6th, 1963. I was terrified of what William would do when he finally saw my naked skin, but my fears were unfounded. He accepted me, even with the scars on my back, left by my father's whip. I hate that sound. William asked me why he did it, of course. I explained that the pain was to redeem my sins. William will never look at my father in the same way again, understandably. Okay, sometimes there appears like this little uh, magnifying glass, but then I, uh, it doesn't do anything. That looks early. There are symbols above the keyhole. Okay. A 
map of the area. Okay. So we are currently... Oh, I can't have my cursor here. We are currently um, there where the red little um, like icon is. We just came down the stairs. And I wonder if... Yeah, so we need this weird um, key that's on the left to our, us on the map to open that door. And I think everything that's green can be access, accessed and everything that's red, we need a key or something to, to enter it. And then there's this like microphone in this other room. I wonder what that is. And I also don't know what C means. Ah, okay, so this is flashing, so that means we're currently in this corridor, in this east wing corridor. And... Okay, I'm not a hundred percent sure. So we've been in... I don't know. What does that say? Pharmacy. How can we access the map? Files. Okay, so the pharmacy is that locked room, and we actually only have this one way, which means we can only go to the raiding room. But, okay. Okay, let's still have a look around. Judith beheading Holofernes, painting by Caravaggio in 1602. It depicts Judith beheading a Syrian general, Holofernes, in his tent after charming him. The recreation of Caravaggio, oh, sorry, Caravaggio's work is outstanding. It almost looks like the original. Okay, so this is locked from the other side. the only way so radiology it's not even on here oh god yeah heart attack that's um that's fair Shit. Oh god. Can be used for the nail. I want to find the nail gun. Ha! A hex on the socket is missing a handle. Okay. This is something we can use for one of the doors. Patient report. Dr. William Wildberger, since the patient's health is extremely delicate and the transfer could worsen the condition, I would advise against transferring them to the new hospital. The patient has cardiac insuff insufficiency and requires an immediate transplant. The patient, oh, the patient passed away at 11.34 p.m. due to cardiac arrest. At the time of their death, they were holding onto a metal object. With the rapid onset of rigor mortis, I have been unable to remove it from the hand. Okay, so I guess this is something we have to do then. Unfortunately. Oh god. Oh, basement. Awesome. Oh, nee. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Why is she wearing shoes that are so loud? Why do I have anything to... Oh, God. 
to protect myself. Ah! The fuck? Oh. It's been mutilated. Well, well observed there. Fuck. What the hell is going on here? But there's nothing else. No. Should have saved. Oh, no. Nee. Okay, hold on. I'm. I wonder why. Hold on. Can I? What if? What happens when I? If I combine them? Cannot be combined. Okay. So I need a... Yeah, okay, I need a, a nail gun. Or something. To to use that. Okay. I, I just wanna... I think I wanna go back and save. I'm just way too scared. Wasn't that here? Does that mean that it's done now? Ah, oh cool. An old magnetophone. It looks like it works. Recording my progress might be useful if anything happens to me. My name is Caroline Walker. I came to Wild Burger Mansion seeking information about two girls in a photograph I received in the mail a couple of weeks ago. The last thing I remember before losing consciousness was arriving at the hospital and entering the mansion's main hall. I remember pain and then nothing. I woke up sometime later connected to a ventilation machine. And my eye had been removed. Why? Why would someone do such a thing? I don't know what the hell is going on in this place, but I need answers. Every time I close my eyes, I see those girls. Am I going insane? Sweet. And now I assume it's gone. Yeah, okay. Okay. 